hello and welcome back to tableau experts so today i'm going to showcase how to create a data model in tableau and uh, we can also use custom sql instead of working with snowflake schema kind of a tables i do have a sample data here i do have a lot of fact tables and dimension tables and what i'm going to showcase let me sh uh, use time dimension so that we'll understand how to create a data model here so let me pull a particular fact table for time dimension let me use the uh, day center cells because uh, i want to use day as a common key column between day table and the fact table so if you want you can also view the data here so in this particular fact table i have day date call center id these two are the key columns or we do called as foreign keys and these are the facts so we have sales information and cost total cost so let me use the same table just drag and drop this particular table here so what i'm going to do is as i said i'm going to use time dimension let's come down and search for uh, day table lu is nothing but a lookup table or we do called as dimension just drag and drop lu underscore day table here so default uh, we are getting inner join but you can also make use of uh, different kind of a joins most of the cases on top of fact table we do use left join but it depends so for now i'm going to use inner join and uh, we are getting the common key column as dated because as we discussed right dated is a common key column between uh, fact table and the dimension table so next i'm going to drop month table here lu underscore month just drag and drop month table it identifies tableau identifies a naming convention the common uh, key column it's not identify the common key column but based on the naming convention we are going to get the join uh, let me showcase uh, the same example so if we are going to pull like another table like uh, let me use quarter table just drag and drop quarter here so my intention is i want to build a parent and child relationship uh, from day to month month to quarter and quarter to year but we are getting a direct join between day table and the quarter table so as i said right based on the naming convention we are going to get the joins it search when you drop any table right it search in the first table if it doesn't match as it goes to the next table similarly so we have this common key column like quarter id in the lu underscore day table and quarter id in quarter table so what we can do is i want to break this particular join and i want to establish relationship between month table and the quarter table so just click on this drop down and select that specific table so select month table and come down so you have a quarter id from lu underscore month table so now you can see here so this is what the proper relationship fact table and we have a day to month month to quarter and you have a proper join here that like month table to quarter id and that in the quarter table we have quarter id so now let's bring year table here lu underscore year just drag and drop here so uh, yeah still the same we have year id in the day table so uh, the thing is like we have month id quarter id year id in the day table so that's the reason based on the common naming convention so we are getting uh, the same join between year table and the day table but i don't want to go for a day to year straight away i want to build a parent and child relationship so click on this drop down and uh, you have to go for uh, quarter table to year table so make use of uh, year id from lu underscore quarter table so that you are going to get proper relationship between quarter and year so this is what uh, kind of uh, a relation where we are going to establish in whatever the tools we are going to work right we are going to establish proper parent and child relationships but when it comes to like in memory tools right so it degrades the performance if you are going to include a lot of tables with multiple hierarchies so the intention is i want to showcase instead of going for all these tables right you can also convert to a custom sql and uh, you can remove unwanted columns so that you can improve the performance of those reports so this is what a fact table and you have a like all these dimension tables so this is called as snowflake schema and uh, what i'm going to do is so go back to data you have an option to go for convert to custom sql just click on convert to custom sql and we are getting all those columns here so 
my suggestion is like uh, remove unwanted columns and um, i just want to showcase one more last point here so basically whenever you have uh, a number of tables you have to get n minus 1 joins now you can see here so we have five tables one is fact table and uh, uh, the other four are dimension tables you are getting uh, these are the joins here so we are getting four joins this is what the basic thing like based on the tables you have to get proper joins but it depends like uh, maybe we might have some composite joins and all those things we have different unwanted columns if you want you can uh, remove those unwanted columns here based on the languages we have something like denmark es france italy japanese korean so something like that so you can also remove those unwanted columns uh, in this particular tables and so that uh, whenever you are loading right so it, it will improve the performance of those uh, while like whenever you are loading it will take lesser time than if you are going to load complete information so that is what the thing so that is what the best approach where while working with data modeling so instead of having all those four tables straight away you can convert that particular in, like tables into one single table by making use of custom sql or you might have a one fact table and uh, you might have a lot of dimension tables convert those dimension table sql pull those dimension tables and convert into custom sql and you can use those dimension table as a single table kind of you can convert like snowflake schema to star schema by making use of custom sql in tableau thanks a lot for watching please do subscribe